the question is how did i land in pediatric ophthalmology well to cut the long short story short uh, i didn't intend to go into pediatric ophthalmology from childhood or anything like that but uh, after my ms uh, i thought that i had a reasonably good exposure in all the other branches except pediatric ophthalmology so i thought if i can do a course in pediatric ophthalmology that will make me more confident and make me all round of thalmologists that that was the intention of getting into a fellowship program just to cover all the bases so that i am ready for private practice but when i went into pediatric ophthalmology i just fell in love with it and i started liking it so much that from that time onwards i have never thought of returning to general ophthalmology um, and then when i got a consultation uh, consultant post in uh, lb prasad uh, all the more it became a strong conviction to continue as a pediatric ophthalmologist that is how my flight landed into pediatric ophthalmology okay to so success ka raaz uh, i think it would be rather vain on my behalf to declare that i am a success already but uh, what has got me to the place that i am right now is i don't get distracted very easily so once i put my mind to something then i just keep going along it uh, i don't externally benchmark myself for my progress i just try to do the best possible in that particular job that i am given so if i am studying i am studying if i am doing some job then i am doing some i am operating then i am operating that time i don't get distracted then i i don't even compare myself with other people or people in other branches or how so and so is doing or what so and so is doing i kind of uh, try and benchmark myself against my own parameters whether i have done honestly what i was supposed to do and that way i judge whether i, I have given it my best or not and then remaining i leave it to destiny if if i have to succeed i have to, i will succeed if not then doesn't matter whatever i do it doesn't make much for difference but yes i would say perseverance is one quality which i have and that probably has contributed to my uh, success so far yes that rush of adrenaline is there in pediatric ophthalmology because it's a new uh, a new day every day it's it's not the routine stuff that you do day in day out every day you get a challenging case every day you get a challenging kid and uh, to try and it's it's almost like trying to solve a puzzle and uh, if you put the, the pieces of the puzzles together uh, that kind of an excitement and uh, sense of satisfaction comes uh, main uh, main driving force is that i know that i am fulfilling a need of the society i know that there is a big gap between the demand uh, in pediatric ophthalmology and the supply so that keeps me going because i am fulfilling a demand and uh, i am being an asset to the society i am not a liability i am not trying to thrust myself on the society i am just fulfilling its need and society has been kind to me in the Uh, they have responded very well i think that's that's what keeps me going is 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 uh is the conviction that i can continue as what i am doing try to improve every day and try to learn new things every day and try to solve new puzzles every day thereby fulfilling a felt need in the society that's that's what keeps me going yes Yes, challenges. Of course, in any journey there are challenges, and you should expect challenges. Whatever you do, it may be a proven thing, it may be a thing which is not yet proven. Still, you are going to face very unique problems that are very unique to your own situation. Each of us comes from a different background with a different kind of backup. Uh, some people are from uh, medical families. I am not from a medical family, so I had a different set of challenges because uh, establishing yourself in the medical fraternity. trying to get a name for yourself is quite challenging if you don't have any backup if you don't know anybody in the field but uh, i was uh, very fortunate to meet uh, very good people along the way uh, i was very lucky to get a break as a consultant in lb prasad after my fellowship and i worked there for quite a few years and that experience helped me a lot in in my future endeavor the biggest challenge was when i decided to leave job at uh, as a consultant in a very good institute and and uh, try to go on my own that is a, that was a big decision in my life but i said why not give it a shot and uh, try try to establish this field of pediatric ophthalmology in private practice 
at that time this uh, this hypothesis was not proven whether pediatric ophthalmology as a stand alone branch is viable in private practice or not and uh, whomever i spoke to uh, everybody had a word of caution for me that you know if you go into pediatric ophthalmology and give up adult cataract or adult practice all together it will be very difficult for you to sustain as an ophthalmologist but uh, i just went uh, by my instinct and uh, my gut feeling and uh, decided to go ahead and practice what i had learned and experienced in so many days now my only belief was that if there is a lacuna in the population and if there is a demand for something and if you are able to fulfill that demand in a in a proper way and good quality service uh, then of course the society is going to accept you and that is how uh, probably i overcame the challenge just by believing in whatever i wanted to do uh, there is no uh, there is no recipe for success or taking you just take things as they come yeah i always tell people who ask me advice is that always think 100 times before you get get on top of a mountain because there is no point in thinking after getting on the top of a mountain that you you know you ended up climbing the wrong mountain so choose the mountain that you want to climb right at the beginning so that at the end of it it gives you tremendous satisfaction and sense of fulfillment and achievement uh, there, there, there is no uh, there is no hurry to decide on your branch i just suggest that you spend some time with the practice in pediatric ophthalmologist or a center which is catering to pediatric uh, patients with eye problems uh, 10 15 days if you spend in that area you will know how the life is how the work culture is what kind of patients you will deal with day deal day and deal day out what kind of parents are there what kind of demands uh, parents have and then you decide whether you want to continue in this field just don't go by somebody else's success or somebody else's success story because for everybody the journey is different so my advice is choose wisely take your time to choose and once you have chosen it don't think uh, again just put your mind to it apply your mind be the best pediatric ophthalmologist that is out there and nobody can stop you from succeeding